Hey everybody, J Stu Productions here with an updated video on green screen removal. Like the first video, if you've watched it, I started with an image like this, using this as an example of an unrealistic green screen shot because most of us do not have a perfectly lit background such as this. Most of us have something similar to this, which is what we're going to work on. We're going to take this lovely lady here, and we are going to put her onto this background. Okay, so I'm going to jump right into it. First things first, the reason that I'm using her is because she's going to be difficult. If you zoom in on her, you'll notice that there's lots of loose hairs, and this is going to be a tricky one. So, first things first, this little spot down here, I want to make green. So I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to use the polygonal lasso tool and I'm just going to quickly select around her and I'm going to use the eyedropper tool to select a green color which is the eye button on the keypad I'll select that and I'm going to hit B for brush and I'm just going to paint this green so everything now is green now to deselect this I hit Apple or Command D and we're good. Eh, it's not perfect, but for this tutorial it'll work. Okay, so once that's done, I am going to come over here and I'm going to make a copy just so I have this for reference if I ever need to go back to it. I'm going to make sure that the background copy is selected. I am going to go up to Select Color Range. Now, I want to invert and of the three eyedropper tools, I want to hit the one with a plus on it because I want to select multiple colors of green to remove because there's lots of different shades of green. So I'm going to select that one. I'm going to change my fuzziness to three. And I am going to start selecting green. And you'll see as I select it, more and more are removed. And if I need to fine tune it, I can actually go over here and specifically select this until almost all of it is gone. Pretty close. Okay. Make sure that the invert is selected as well if you want to, to kind of resemble this. Once I'm done, I will hit OK. Now you'll notice all these little bits and pieces are, are being selected. We want to get rid of those. So we're going to go back up to select we are going to go to modify and we're going to go to contract because we want to kind of scrunch in this selection tool and when we do that it will remove all these little speckles I almost always contract by two pixels and you'll you'll notice these are almost all going to disappear and they're pretty much all gone so this was um, about where I got to on the last one um, the new stuff that I'm going to show you is in Refine Edge. So, you will notice, if I zoom in on her, that that looks awful. It looks really bad. So the first thing I'm, that I'm going to do is I'm going to click Smart Radius. I'm going to turn that on, and you know, I'm going to bump this sucker uh, all the way up to 250. Now watch what happens. It'll take a little while. See that? I don't know why it does it, how it does it, but it does it, which is cool. So that does a really good job. You can actually see some of her hairs, you know, the loose hairs coming through, and it looks good. But there's still some, some green there. So I'm going to go down to Decontaminate Colors by 50%, and that will also do a really good job of removing some of that extra color. Yeah, my computer is being a crap something, whatever. Anyways, so we're off to a really good start here. I mean, this looks pretty stinking good. Um, I'm not going to mess with any of this stuff. Uh, some people will smooth it out a little bit, but Fire. Yeah, see, that just makes it a little fuzzy. So I'm not going to do any smoothing at all. None of this stuff. Keep everything the way it is. And I'm going to hit OK. All right. So 
Now what I have, if I zoom back out, which you can zoom in and out easily with your keyboard by hitting Apple or Command and then the plus or minus keys on your keyboard. So if I remove all the background layers, that's what I have left. I have her. There she is. Now I'm going to kind of detach this from, from here and I want to get her over here. So I am going to make sure that she is selected. I'm going to hit the V key, V, which is your move tool. And I'm going to hold down Shift and V. Click and drag her over. And there she is in all her glory. But she is way too big for this image, so I'm going to resize her by holding Command or Apple and T. Now, now I'm in the resize tool. So if I go like this or this or just try to resize it, eh, it doesn't do a very good job. So let's say I do that. Oh, crap, she's all squished. So I'm going to hit Apple, Command, Apple or Command, and Z to undo. And I'm going to go up to the corner, and I'm going to hold down the Shift key, and then I'm going to click and drag. And that keeps the perspective, the dimensions, you know, about equal. So there, that looks good. Works for me. Okay, there she is. She's in there. She's still a separate layer, which is good. But now she's in there. Now I'm going to zoom in on in on her, and I'm going to just kind of inspect everything because you know there's still little bits of green in there. And the way that I personally would do this, and maybe other people have their own way of doing it, but I'm going to use the uh, the clone stamp tool, which is somewhere around here, and that's not it. Oh, here it is, right here. Clone stamp or S. You just hit S on your keyboard. Now, if you don't know what the clone stamp is, basically like I find an area and I will set a point right here. And then I can paint over here and it's going to basically follow whatever path I'm on. So I'm just going to fill in some of these these areas. And I'm just going to find some an area of hair that, yeah, that doesn't look good. But if you see what I mean, Alt or Option, click. That's going to set that point. I can come over here and you know, kind of paint some stuff in. Look at all that green down there. See, we want to get rid of that. So I'm going to go over here because this is kind of a dark area. Or maybe maybe here. I hit, hit the option key, click to set it, and then I'm just going to paint over this. And it just makes basically makes it look like, eh, she's just got more hair down there. When you zoom out, you can't really tell. And I'll go around and I'll look for other areas where there's too much whoops, too much green, like right there. So I'll go back to my clone stamp tool, hit the option key, and I'm just going to paint over those. Just get rid of them. You know, and and if you see some areas like here, for example, you can always also hit the E key to to bring up the eraser. You don't know, like this? I can just erase it. Okay, I'm back. And that's about it, you know. I mean, just kind of play around with it, and uh, and you should be good. So, um, I hope this helped everybody, and uh, have a good day.